Disc brakes use the clamping method for braking. We know that the brake system works because there is friction. In the disc brake system, friction occurs when the brake pad clamp a rotating rotor. So, there are two main components. First the rotor. The rotor is shaped like this, connected to the axle shaft so that it rotates with the wheel. Second, brake pads. Brake pads are the component to rub the rotor. They are connected to the chassis of the vehicle. So, when they're clamped the rotor, brake pads are able to hold the rotor rotation. But how the brake pads clamp the rotor? We have another components. It is the brake caliper. Brake caliper is a brake actuator that produce clamping movements. The latest cars, generally use hydraulic brake control. The hydraulic system basically functions to move energy from the pedal to the actuator more effectively. So, when we press the pedal, the push rod is pushed, so that the piston inside the master cylinder is also pushed. The movement of the piston will press the fluid so that the fluid moves outwards. In the brake caliper, there is a piston connected to the fluid from the master cylinder. So that, the pushed fluid enter the caliper and push the piston. That makes the piston move. But why is the piston only on one side? How the caliper clamp the brake pads? The brake caliper you see, is a floating type. The floating type, widely applied from city cars to SUVs. In this type, there are two caliper pins. So the caliper can freely slide. So the movement of the piston, will slide the caliper. When the piston move, the inner brake pad rub the disc. Then the piston continues to move. This second movement will slide the caliper and push the outer brake pad to rub the disc. So, the pistons have clamped the disc with the same strength. It's easy right? That's an animation of how hydraulic disc brakes work. Hopefully useful and subscribe for more.